Here comes the full corn moon in Aries on September 29, 2023, happening at 9.58 a.m. in the morning, Tropical Astrology Universal Time Coordinated in Lunar Mansion Number 1, which is a mild mansion of the moon. Lunar Mansion Number 1 is al Sheratain, meaning the horns of Aries. Oh, this is according to Warnock. Now, ask the angel of the stargates Sheratain, or Beta Arietis and Mesorthim or Gamma Arietis, who is named Geniel, to provide healing potions and safe voyages. Sorceresses and sorcerers create representations to start making innovative curative elixirs. Also, to destroy marriages, romances, and friendships, and to cause employees to run away. Now, according to Agrippa, the first mansion is named Alnef, okay? Agrippa also divulges to us that the purpose of Alnef is to cause the annihilation of a specific chosen person using a representation of a grim warrior carrying a spear or weapon for the purpose of creating strong desire for a portion of ignoble happenings to be heaped upon the one who is being targeted for eradication and subsequent oblivion, all right? Now, Warnock cites that the purpose of showing a dark warrior with his hair wrapped around his head, who stands wielding a spear in his right hand, is to cause the families of enemies to be annihilated and depopulated. This is from the Horns of Aries in the constellation of Aries the Ram with lunar angel Geniel and Lord Geras. Okay, Lord Geras. Now, keep in mind that for people, if they feel that they're you know, on the side of right and that they've been wronged, then, you know, sometimes people go to war. All throughout human history, people go to war, okay? So, you can't say it's good or bad. It has, it's relying upon your position, what's good for you and your family and your community and keeps you and your family, you and your community safe. Now, it's better that people can learn to cooperate and get along, but this is a mansion that exists it's used constantly in, in, they use it in movies, in TV shows, commercials, on the internet, in videos, in, you know, in writing. It's been used from eons, you know, in plays and paintings. And if these are things that are from the beginning of time, all right? That they're, they're human situations that the images will conjure up in the person a certain, a certain reaction, okay? So, these things are used, so you need to understand it, so that if you see it, maybe you're watching a TV show or something and you see it, okay, you can understand that you don't, you don't want that to happen to you in your community. You don't want to be depopulated, you don't want to be annihilated, so you can understand it, and you can, when you know about it, that's the best way to then do behaviors that will not cause it to happen, okay? Because if it goes into the subconscious and it bypasses your conscious mind, you say, oh, that's silly, okay? That's silly because, the, you know, a picture isn't going to make me do something or a picture isn't going to cause something to happen. Well, if it didn't, they wouldn't be using these things if it didn't cause things to happen. It does cause things to happen because the, the conscious mind is noise. And images and these sort of unconscious signals there's, that are given to us are going to get in there and program you. Okay, that's why it's called a program. So understand that if you bring it up to your conscious mind and understand it, and then take measures to keep you and your family, your community, your country, whatever, safe, okay? You try to, of course, get along with people, but when they won't get along, you have to do what you have to do to defend yourself, then you know, at that case, then you understand how you can use it to help you and not hurt you or how you can stop it from having a bad effect on you where it causes you to maybe have fights with your friends or your family or those kinds of things which will break down your community. It, it can tend to break down a community, okay? That's what it does, so these kinds of images. Okay, so some images create good things, some images create what we call bad things, but again, Good and bad are relying upon your situation, and something that seems good could be bad, and something that seems bad could be good. 
you understand how that works okay but what you need to know is you need to understand that they exist that these lunar mansions exist that they're used they've been being used since the beginning of time they're still being used they're going to be used so you might as well use it for your benefit and that of you and your family and your community and the people in your charge that you care for that you love that you want to protect and care for and use it for your knowledge and their knowledge so you can make sure that you're that you're not being influenced by these things in a subconscious way that you're not aware of okay because it will cause you to behave differently and will cause your community to break down if you don't understand it that's how it works okay so that's how this works okay okay now stellar magic opportunities which provide powerful forces to you to acquire your objectives when sheraton and mesor theme stargates are activated by luna and this happens to be for when it's in aries okay this is according to Ashmole, okay, are the following. Engage not in any matrimony, neither during Luna's transit through this mansion, nor when the moon is in the sign of Aries, okay? Bring livestock to grasslands to feed, then for yourself acquire therapeutics, remedies, and curatives, go on voyages, although you should avoid expeditions during the second hour after sunrise. Procure domesticated or docile animals purchase not any attendant retainer nor employee because if you do your newly procured valet will prove to be a muckraker and a reviler that is defiant as well as a deserter okay acquire not any new friends associates nor contacts because they will be fickle and desert you traverse and go on voyages by water upon seafaring vessels because your expedition will be safe your course clear and your journey aboard will be successful landscape your estate and construct personal security systems or protective covering for your body very important if you are captured you will be confined okay so understand that if you're captured you will be confined for many years this is also a time to shear your tresses your locks and curls trim your fingernails and create your own personal attire and then dress yourself in your freshly fashioned garments before proceeding with any of these activities during this mansion you must know the astrological aspects of Luna Mars Saturn and Pluto therefore it is permissible to proceed with these recommendations because what you need to understand that the reason it's okay to proceed is because on September 29, 2023, Luna is opposite the Sun, conjunct Neptune and sextile Pluto, okay? So it cannot be, it, it cannot be in situations where you have, you know, squares and oppositions, where you have the activities are not advisable when Luna is square opposing aspects uh, to Mars, Saturn, or Pluto. So on September 29th, Luna is opposing the Sun, but it's not, a, it's not opposing Mars, Saturn, or Pluto. And it's conjunct Neptune, and it's sextile Pluto, so it's not opposing, and it's not square Pluto. So it's okay to, and permissible to go ahead and advisable to take these and heed these recommendations. Okay, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.